All right, everybody, welcome back to the farmstead. So we got a bit of an issue here. The Renergy 2000 watt inverter giving me some problems. Had it hooked up, did some test runs. It seemed like everything was fine. However, the coffee maker would trip it and a couple of other things would trip it, like the television, which was really weird. Just a basic smart TV and we have a uh, a bed frame that is adjustable. It has a uh, hydraulic motor on it, and that also won't work. Uh, fair amount of research after looking into this, and I began to figure out that this is actually a reoccurring issue with a lot of these types of inverters. So there's a GFI protection that's already in here and if you can see the dot this piece right here the little jack that's for the GFI I think if you look close you can read it on there that's for the GFI now after the research I began to see that there is a it comes from the factory already bonded that bond which I don't know how anybody would have found this, so this is why I'm making this video, is there's a, a little bar back in here that says C64 on it. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it. I'll shine the, this little thing right here. See where it says C64? See that little jumper right there? Or yeah, C46, I'm sorry, C46. That little jumper right there. That supposedly is your bond. So what I was told is that if I cut that, it will render the GFCI useless, which is kind of what I want. I don't really, I mean, for what we're trying to do, I have GFIs in the building, and apparently this is problematic for these things. Um, people try to use them on boats, and the boats, was say, say as soon as they hook into shore, it starts tripping. Well, this is essentially the same thing. Um, I'm hooked up through a building. We have no power in the building, from like say a power company it's all just solar but it's hooked up and it's grounded it's not bonded uh unless it's equipment that might be bonded so i mean that could be the problem um because i thought of that before we got this far anyway the point is is that it seems like this is a reoccurring problem for these types of things and the only real fix is to eliminate that bond now before i got into cutting say that little bond that was back in here which is also going to render that useless i thought to myself why don't we just pull this right i mean if we just take that out in theory that is tripping that so if we just pulled that out, maybe we don't have to cut this and possibly have some sort of snowball catastrophic effect. So what I'm gonna do, the video I watched, the guy did both. And he didn't answer whether or not it would work. He just said that's what, when he called Renergy, that that's what it would do. So what I'm gonna do is just unplug this, put it back together, Give it a test run see if we can get the coffee maker to work and if it doesn't then we'll cut the bond in the back back there and see what happens all right let's see how this goes
Well, that seems to have done it. Everything's on that I was having trouble with before. All right, well, that's good news, at least as far as I can tell. Um, so in closing, what I would, I am not telling anybody to do this because I feel like I need this disclaimer. Uh, I'm saying that if you choose to do this, this may be your outcome. You have a problem with the GFCI tripping when you go to put a load on it on these types of inverters. I'd imagine other inverters are similar, but these ones are from Renogy. So it's five screws on the face of this. One, two, three, four, five, right? In the corners, one in the middle. Pull them off, pull this down. Right there. So I, I labeled this just so we could clearly see it and not get confused if we ever open it up. But it's there's a little CT type thing right here, which is probably what that is, CT, uh, that this is hooked to. That's reading the load on these wires. And I imagine as soon as it gets to a certain point, that's whenever it trips over here. So if you want to avoid that, pull that out and give that a test run and put it back together. It seems to have worked for me. We gave it that a test run and everything that wasn't working before is now working. So just putting it out there that if anybody would uh, have these problems, uh, see if this helps you out. And if you do do this, leave a comment. Uh, let me know how it worked out for you. See if you had to cut that C46 bond or not. We're new with this part. So right now it seems like it's going to work. I actually have a full video that I'm working on that I'm going to put out by this week by this weekend coming up about this whole system i'll give you the whole rundown all the stuff that happened this is actually the second inverter believe it or not so there's a whole story behind that we'll make a new video about it um i just need some time to edit it and everything and i'll show you the whole thing we'll show you the solar the hookup where it comes in how i did everything and this will just be an add-on to it so Hopefully this helps somebody because it would have helped me. I was looking. All right. You guys have a good day.